My wife asked me to stop singing Wonderwall. I said maybe. <laughs> right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so it's going to be a quick video just telling you something about Amazon that you may find concerning. I'm not sure if it's people maybe like thinking too much into things or whatnot, but it does look a bit shady and I don't really know, but you might want to know. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if you use any Amazon device with Alexa capabilities, so the Alexa feature, so you've got your Amazon Fire Sticks, which have Alexa built in, you've got your Fire TV Cubes, which have also got Alexa, you've got your Echo Dots, so basically any device which has voice recognition with Alexa. And what they're doing, they're, it looks as though they're actually recording your conversations or your voice while you're not actually using the device. And it sounds pretty shit, to be honest, and I don't know... It says they're doing it to try and improve Alexa. So Alexa can better understand you, understand your voice when you're asking commands. Which is fair enough, but if it is actually recording when it shouldn't be... So if I've got echo dots around the house, one in the kitchen, one upstairs. And if I'm having a conversation, I don't want Alexa there. What's he on about? What's he talking about? No chance. <laughs> so I'm quickly just going to show you where this is and what you can do to get rid of it. So if you go to the Amazon website, you can do it on the app as well, but I'm going to do it on the website because it's easier for me to record. And I'm going to show you .com and .co.uk because they are a little different. So first of all, I'm using .com. So if you're in the US or wherever uses .com, this is going to be the first one. And then obviously .co.uk is if you're in the UK. So if you go to the three line button, hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it in that top corner, scroll down the page and you're going to see your account. And when you're on this, you're going to see digital content and devices. And then you can see it says manage content and devices. And you want to click on that one. And when you click on it, it's going to come up the same as I'm going to show you now inside .co.uk. So on Amazon.co.uk, same again, three, three burger menu. <laughs> I love that menu. <laughs> so same again, the three line button hamburger menu. Click on that. We're going to scroll down once again to your account. And then this time, you can't see it there. So in .co.uk, you're actually looking for content and devices. And we'll click on that. And now what you're going to see is no devices found or no items found. But you're going to see a little bar there. You can see it says devices. So when we click on this, you're going to see whatever devices you've purchased from that account. And then you can see I've got a shit ton of stuff. But a lot of this I've done for giveaways and that. And that's why there's so many. I'm not addicted to Alexa or anything, you know. <laughs> so say I'm going to click on the Fire TV Cube. And this is going to be the same for any of these devices. And when I click on the dots there or whatever menu that you're getting or settings, options, anything. You're going to see it says delete voice recordings. And when I click on this. When you use voice search on this Fire TV Cube, we keep the voice recordings associated with your account to learn your voice and how you speak to improve the accuracy of the results provided to you and improve our services. I don't know if Amazon's up to date with punctuation, but I ran out of breath. <laughs> you can choose to delete these associated recordings you've made on this device. They may degrade your experience using the voice features. Are you sure you want to delete? So I'm not sure if it's actually recording you when you're not using it. A lot of people are speculating and saying that when you're not using your Alexa, it's recording everything you're talking about. I don't think Doris and Jean are going to be stood in the kitchen on about politics and Alexa's going to be listening to it. I think what it's saying is everything you request or everything you say to Alexa while it's activated, it keeps those to try and better learn how you speak. But still... It is a bit like, it's a bit strange, isn't it? So what you can do is just click on delete and then it's going to request a delete. Your deletion request has been received. So what you can do, you can do this for all devices that you have inside your account. Or what you can also do is you see privacy settings there and you've also got Alexa privacy. And in here, you can just check it, review voice history, enable deletion by voice, allows you to delete recordings by saying, Alexa, delete what I just said. As you can see, by default, that is not enabled. I was going to say disabled, and I went, oh. <laughs> so you can enable that if you want. 
And then what you're going to see, you're going to see the actual recordings. And it obviously when I saw Amazon, did Alexa do what you wanted it to? I'm not sure because I can't remember what I asked. But if you can look from the time, it does actually keep a log of quite a lot of things. That's just from this afternoon. And then at the bottom, you've also got manage your Alexa data. And then inside here, automatically de 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 <laughs> <laughs> automatically delete recordings. That's off by default as well. So you can turn that off so it doesn't keep anything and it deletes it instantly. And then you've got also got features with help improve Alexa. So use voice recordings to improve Amazon services and to develop new features. You can turn that off so it doesn't log whatever you're saying to it. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of stuff in there. There is quite a lot of permissions as well. And as we know, the age that we're all living in now is all tech related. So a lot of like personal data and that, it's worth quite a lot of money. So I know this will concern a lot of people. And that is how you get rid of it, how you disable it, how you delete it and all that stuff. Alexa, play Kenny Loggins playing with the boys. Is it playing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that that's all right. I love that song. But yeah, comment down below any other like permissions you've seen that you don't like, anything you've seen that is a bit shady. The person I actually saw this video from is Stream and Tech Now. You should go and check him out. Really good YouTuber. And he was the one I first saw put the video up about it. And then I started getting messages about it. And then Doc Squiffy put something up as well. And I thought it might be something you want to know. So I'll put a video out there so you do know. But like I said, if I have missed anything, do comment down below so we can check it out. We know what else to do if this is a problem and this is an issue for people who do want to get rid of it. I think personally, I will be disabling it and getting rid of the voice recordings as well because I don't live with my parents anymore. I don't, I don't want people listening to my conversations. <laughs> but do bear that in mind. They're not actually listening to your conversations. I don't think they're actually just logging what you've requested. So when you actually press that, voice button when you actually say her name or whatever it's called then they, re they actually record whatever you're saying to it when it is activated i don't know why i said activated like activated but i did i said it <laughs> right so like i say i hope that some of you wanted to know this for a lot of people you probably think i'm not bothered but that's just how off my videos go a lot of people aren't interested. <laughs> right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tada. Right, so first of all, let's get the, everything we need from... Or just put I'm Julie Ruffin... Um, oh. But Julie Richardson, very shortly, you're going to be the proud owner of an... an <laughs> Down below, I'll make a new video for Fire Stick in general. In general, I don't think that's the right word. But it might not reply to a lot of you, I'm not sure. It's just a question that we do have a lot, that the back button don't work. Don't work, the back button don't work. <laughs> and as a lot of you will already know, there's no way you... Right then, so as we know, more fixed... But I'm going to use this as an example. This is, I put it in this, um, the baby. Is Morphix TV will more than likely need updating from the version you currently have, or the, the, the baby. <laughs> Can't talk. Morphix TV will more than likely need updating. <laughs> and it was originally Tech Doctor UK who I found this app off. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. This has also helped when people have been trying to play links with no audio inside the actual built-in player don't know what that's did you hear about the claustrophobic cast a big dipper <laughs> did you hear about the claustro claustrophobic i can't say it i'm done did you hear about the claustrophobic Sorry, be <laughs> would be the power cable from the plug so yeah i can't i don't know what i'm saying and then the other plug that you get with it, so the second plug, you can plug in anywhere around your house. <laughs> but that gives you access to an Ethernet, like... I'm just covering which, like, what I think it all must have accessories. I don't even know what I'm saying, wowzers. You've got your Ethernet 
Eh. <laughs>